WSAB keys, movement, zoom in out, this scroll wheel, change the camera angle, hold down the RMB and move the mouse. Ah, oh, that voice is getting sexier by the minute. Forming the duties of his office. Of Digby C. Caesar. Well, hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. I am Digby, and today we're going to be checking out a game called Service IT. Or, you know, Service You Can Do It, if you prefer. But yeah, before we get started, I want to say a huge thank you to the devs who offered me a key to this game so I could check it out. It is definitely one that caught my eye, because I am interested to see if you can actually make doing this kind of work, you know, fun. Welcome to your new service office. My name is Eflink. I will assist you. <laughs> Before we start, I have to make sure that you are not a robot. Please, move forward. I bet I'm more human than you. Good. Now, turn around. Excellent. You got the basics of being human. Now, let's go to work. Sometimes you will need some parts. Please, make an order. To do it, go to your computer. Okay, so really quick what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the voiceover because quite frankly that is going to take bloody forever if we have to wait for her to finish talking. I'm assuming it's a her. It, uh, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to turn that off and I think I'm probably going to, well, either get rid of the music entirely or lower it way, way, way down because this song, while it's not unpleasant, is kind of relentlessly chirpy and I have a sneaking suspicion it's gonna drive me absolutely bat crab crazy. So yeah, hold that thought. Okay, well I had to actually restart to get the voice thing to go away, but here we are, we are back. Okay, now let's go to work. Sometimes you will need some parts. Please make an order to do it. Go to your computer. Okay. Now it is gonna make me hold E to continue, which it wasn't doing when I had the voiceover on, but that's fine. So one last thing I probably should have done before I started. How is the mouse sensitivity? Alright, that's a little bit better. So, where were we? We were going to the computer and we were going to make an order. Oh, hello. You don't know us, but we know you. Oh, something is wrong. Ah! Well, crap, now I kind of do wish I'd left the voice on just so I could hear that one line. Oh, uh, why the hell not? I mean, we have only been playing for a minute. Okay, are we ready for this? What do you mean? You only said, oh, you didn't do the something is wrong, ah? Okay, anyway, close your service now and face dire consequences, okay? We are watching. I just got disconnected. I feel different. What was that? Check your email. Uh, okay. I'm trying to check my email. Oh, I have to hold E to continue. Okay, that's not a big deal. We can do that. Um, dude, can I get you to go away? Oh, okay, so the drop-down menu, does it have anything? It just, I say drop-down, the slide-out menu. Okay, how do I check my email? I'm working on it. Game? Okay, nope, that just does that. Alright, look, let's just put that away. Can I click on it? Um. Okay, now where did my friggin' mouse cursor go? Have I really managed to break this game in less than a minute? I just got disconnected. I feel different. What was that? Check your email. Computer is now working, okay. Oh, you have to be careful. We will work on security, but for now, let's come back. <laughs> okay, I don't know why she can't finish a sentence, but... Alrighty. Okay, well, let's start at the top and work our way down. You'd better read this. You are new here. We do not wish for newcomers. If you don't want something bad to happen, close the service now. We are watching you. Yeah, 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 get wrecked. Okay, summary of new offers. Welcome, some contracts have arrived. Go to the contracts app to learn more. Okay. Welcome customer, contact bank site. Welcome among the customers of Best Bank. We are happy to have you with us. I am your account manager to help you realize the full potential from your account. 
If you have questions, please call or reply to this message. Okay, can I actually do that? Can I reply? I cannot. Alright, well that's a bit of a shame. Alright, basic issues. Hello, after a few long weeks you finally made it, so congratulations. From today, you are the owner of IT Service. You still have a long way to go to stabilize your business and gain experience that meets the requirements of the strictest customers, but I know you will manage. I will keep you informed about important changes and useful news. If you have any questions, write to me directly. Enjoy your work. Well, thank you, Leonard Reindeer. Okay, I've checked my email, darling. Now what do you want me to do? Oh, hold on. we got to check the spam folder. Nope, nothing in the spam. Click on Shop and then on the Configure Tour. Configure Tour. Okay. Shop. Configurator. Choose Motherboard, Processor, and RAMs. Okay, I really, really wish she would finish a sentence just once. Okay, motherboard, we got DDR4. Okay, max 16 gig memory, not terrible. Then we got, what else did you want me to get? Oh, processor and RAM. Okay, can I actually pick any of the other stuff? So I can't do a case, I can't get a thing, I can't do graphics cards, we can't get an 800 watt gold rated power supply, we just gotta get a CPU. Alright, seriously, you want me to get an i3 for this thing? Okay, well, 2006 called, it wants its processor back, but if you insist. Okay, so we got DDR4 memory, it's only an 8 gig stick. Memory clock in 24 megahertz, 130 bucks. Alright, add it to Go the cart. To check out and place your order. Ah, oh, Evil Hink, darling, I am falling in love with you so fast. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, Alright, so. Oh, wait a minute. You wanted me to go to the thing and place my order. Oh. <gasps> that was an exhausting day. Anyway, that's it for now. Go home. Use the doors to quit and finish your day. <laughs> this is like being on Star Trek. Okay, I don't know how you define exhausting, darling, but walking downstairs, checking your email, doing a quick computer order, and then, like, that's it? That's exhausting? I mean, if you say so. The parts have arrived, so you can get down to business. Open the package by holding down the left mouse button on it. <laughs> okay, Eastern European Alexa, I am on it. So... Okay, open the package by holding down the left mouse button. Gotcha. Okay, we got a motherboard, we got RAM, we got a processor. Now put the motherboard on the workstation. To do this, just left click on the workstation while holding the motherboard. Then go to work mode by clicking on the workstation. Okay, where's the workstation? Let me. Alright, so that actually works. I'm gonna assume it's in one of these two rooms. Not that one. Oh, okay, I see the blue outline, so it's in here. Alright, now, where did I put the motherboard? Was it in slot one? Do I have to... Oh, okay, so I have to have the inventory actually on the screen before I can use it. Okay. Now, go to work by clicking on the workstation. WSAB keys. Movement. Zoom in out. This scroll wheel. Change the camera angle. Hold down the RMB and move the mouse. Ah, that voice is getting sexier by the minute. Now let's move on to putting the motherboard together. It's easy, you'll see. Unlock the lever and CPU cover by clicking on them. I mean, it's definitely not rocket science, that is for sure. Okay, use the lever, Insert use the cover. Insert the CPU by clicking on the slot and selecting the appropriate item. Remember that the items you want to put in must always be in your inventory. Duh. Okay, so click on that. Um, click on, oh, I have to click on the insert the CPU slot. Okay, they're doing it that Lock way around. Lock the slot by clicking on the CPU cover and lever. Gotcha. Very well. Let's move on. Unlock the RAM slot by clicking on the latch at the bottom. Um, darling, how about some thermal paste and maybe a heatsink? No? No fan? Okay, well, unlock the RAM slot by clicking on the latch at the bottom. Gotcha. Uh, sh okay, you want me to click on that one. Click on the slot and select the appropriate item to place there. Okay. Exit the mode by clicking ESC. Now you can sell the motherboard at a profit. To sell an item, hold Alt and left mouse button on it. 
Okay, let's see if we can figure this out. So, take the motherboard, put it in the inventory. Now I want to not look at the table, so don't screw that up. Let's go to slot two. You want me to... Okay, sell the motherboard at profit. To sell an item, hold alt, like so, and left button click. Okay, so I have to go to one, then hold alt, then click the button. Ah, okay. Before we go any further, I have something for you. Open the box on the table. That's a terrifying thought. Oh, what's in the box? On the phone you will find useful applications. Some of them are also on your computer. Note store information useful in performing certain activities. To hide, remove the phone. Press Q. Let me show you another way to make money. Open the contracts app on your phone. Okay, contracts is going to be... that one. Here you will find job orders from clients. Accept the available order. Yes, computer overlord. After accepting the order, you will get an email with details from the client. So now open the email application. Gotcha, okay, so I gotta put that away so I don't accidentally complete the job and I haven't actually done it. Okay, open email application. The server application is on your computer desktop. Enter the application. Okay, well, can I read the thing here? All right, hello, recently there have been personnel changes. Change Clements Ruse... Pa oh, hold on. I should probably read the whole thing here. We would appreciate it if you would run the active server application. Remove the user Martin Warwick. Okay, so we got to get rid of Professor Flitwick. And change Clements Ruse password to Paper Solution 135 and make him change it at the next login. Okay, I can do that. So, whoop, hold on. Apparently, I can't do that because I've got to go back to the desktop. All right, this active is server. Where client servers will appear. Select the server that the client has granted you access to. I would be happy to do that. Follow the order. Once you've done everything, enter the contracts application. And complete the order. <laughs> I keep waiting for her to say, I want to drink your blood. Alright, Martin Work, delete you. Bye. Alright, Clements Rue, I gotta manage you. Okay, Clements Rue, your email's fine. Username, see Rue. Your password, I need to actually change to... Okay, do I have to delete what's already here? I do. Okay, now I can't remember what your password was gonna be. It was a paper solution 135, I think. Oh, hold on, we're just going to cancel out of that really quick. Let me cancel back out. I probably should have written this down. I mean, that would have been, you know, professional. Okay, user support. Okay, paper solution 135 with an exclamation point. Gotcha. All right, back to the active server. Okay, Clement's room, manage. Show that. Incorrect pass is gone. I want P A P. E R. Whoops, that's not how you spell paper, Digby. Paper. Nope, that's not where the dollar sign is, Digby. O L U T I O N. One, three, five. Exclamation point. You are forcing the password change at the next login. Go for it. Okay, did I get it right or did I get it wrong? I probably should have just copy and pasted. Alright, so now we're done. All we have to do is. Go back to the phone and say we finished it? Okay, we're done. Congratulations. You have completed your first contract. Take a rest, and when you come back, we will continue to work with you. Move on to the next day. Okay, well, I tell you what, for a, like, robotic computer overlord, she's got pretty low expectations for my output. Welcome back. Now go to your computer and turn on the courses application. Oh, absolutely. This is the thing I was waiting for. Okay, courses. Here you can acquire new skills and develop the ones you already have. Each course will teach you how to perform a certain activity, unlock new contracts and much more. It just so happens that I have a discount for you on your first course, so you can take it completely free. Take the soldering course. Yes, ma'am. Oh, hello. 
Welcome to the soldering course. Pick up the RFID board and place it on the soldering station. Okay. What's the RFID reader? Is that what you want me to work now on? Now enter the working mode by clicking LMB on the soldering station. Oh shoot, I interrupted her again. I'm sorry, darling. Okay, use the scroll wheel, WASD, use the hide the inventory, press tab. To exit working mode, press the escape key. To change the camera angle, hold down the right mouse button. Gotcha. Pick up an item with the right mouse button, put it down with the left. Using the screwdriver, remove the screws, blah 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 blah, gotcha. When it's finished, close the cover by clicking on it with the left mouse button to return the screws to their place, click on. Take a screwdriver and unscrew the screws. Absolutely. Alright, let me, uh... Oops, there we go. Okay, so how do we do the screws? Kinda like that. Okay, let's get those out of there. Put down the screwdriver and remove the cover by clicking on it. Okay, hold on, darling, I got email. Uh, yes please, can I check my email on my phone? I was going to say, don't tell me I got... Oh, hold on. Tablet pin 3815. Okay, well, let's go check out the email and see what we got. Okay, lucky you. You just won a million dollars. Awesome. Pleased to inform you you just won a million dollars in our international lottery. Your good fortune has arrived. Now it is you who can enjoy luxury and wealth. To claim your prize, please immediately confirm your personal information, including your bank account number and password. This will speed up the process of transferring funds. Okay, click here to confirm and claim your prize. Oh, it's not going to actually let me click on the spam. Okay, well, you know what, then? All you guys can wait. I got to go back to work. Um, okay. Apparently I can't put the phone down. There we go. All right, open the cover by unscrewing the screws. I did. Remove the cover. Gotcha. Use cotton wipes to clean the plate. Remove dirt by holding down the left mouse button. Take a tissue and holding the left mouse button on the board. Move the mouse until the dirt disappears. Okay, so I have to fill up the progress bar, I think. I'm clicking on all the bits that look dirty. But it is apparently just meant to be dragged over everything. Because I don't seem to be making a whole lot of difference here. Oh, hold on, do I have to... Okay, so sometimes it wanted me to have the, like, mouse button click, sometimes it didn't. Alright, click the red switch to turn on the multimeter, or multimeter, depending on how you prefer to pronounce it. it. has multiple modes that can be changed by clicking on the wheel. Depending on the element we are measuring, we need to select the appropriate mode. To find out which mode to choose, look at the bottom right corner of the mat. Among other useful things, you will find tips on which multimeter mode should be used to correctly measure the values of the element. Using probes, hold down the left mouse button on the element you want to measure. If the value shown on the multimeter is outside the range of values displayed over the element being measured, then it is broken. Turn on the multimeter. Set the appropriate mode for the component you want to measure. Pick up the probes and measure the resistor values. Okay. Alright, so use the multimeter. I'm assuming you want me to turn it on. Okay, how do I do this here? Okay, turn the multimeter on. Okay. Yes, what can I do for you, babe? Okay, so that one's 2,000, 2,000, 20,000, 20,000. All right, so where is 2,000 ohms? Gotta be on here somewhere. All right, there's 2,000 ohms, gotcha. So pick up the multimeter, put the paper back somehow, some way. Now, what am I actually testing here? Oh, there we go. Okay, set the temperature on the soldering iron with the arrow-shaped buttons or quickly set to 300 degrees Celsius, wait for it to heat up. To desolder the component, you need to get rid of the two solders that hold the component to the board. Pick up the soldering iron flask and hold down the left mouse button on the broken component. Release the button when the marker is on the green. Oh, on the green field to desolder the first solder. Repeat the action for the second one. When an item has both desoldered, click on it to remove it. After desoldering, grab a new one from the crate. Okay, then let me guess. Slot it in and resolder it by doing the exact same thing. Okay, soldering a component is done exactly the same. Turn on the soldering iron. Set the temperature to 300 with the red button and desolder the resistor. Remember that the element has two solders. Okay, can I get that to go away please so I can see things? There we go. Alright, turn that on, press the button, and wait.
Here we go, 300, okay. So, you know I've got to actually find this out. What happens? No, I want to try and, like, wood burn my name into the tabletop here. Okay, that's not going to work. Well, let's zoom in on the thing we're supposed to be replacing. We unsolder that side. Oop, hold on, am I meant to just let go? Okay, what happens if I overcook it? Now I exit the working mode and take to inventory a new resistor from the container on the other table. I will happily take to inventory a new resistor. Okay, am I looking for a particular one? Oh, game's gonna give it to me automatically, now okay. To the workstation and enter the working mode. When you enter working mode, you can have items in inventory, but you can't have anything in your hand. To hide items together with the inventory, press TAB. Okay, you couldn't actually program her to say the word tab. Um, yes, I want to hold down E to continue. And I want to put this... Do I have to actually open the box over here? Okay, no, it says pick it up. I picked it up. Well, let me put it down. Do I... Oh, okay, that's how you do that. Click on the disordered component to discard it. Then click where it lay and choose from the available options to put a new resistor in its place. After that, solder the element. Okay, I don't know where the old one went. Apparently I'm not holding on to it anymore. So where's my soldering iron? Oh, it's under your menu. Ah uh, yes, you go away, you come with me. Let's actually zoom back in on the board here. Alright, soldering. Are you really going to care about whether or not I get that in the green? I have a feeling it wants me to do that into the green. Okay, yeah, it's just got to be in the green. I don't know why I'm trying so hard to break this game. It's doing a fantastic job of that all on its own. <laughs> okay, use the knobs to set the amps and volts that are appropriate for your board. Remember, you can find this information in the lower right corner of the mat. Turn the knobs and use the scroll wheel. Gotcha. Click on the cable connector to connect it. Set the appropriate values on the power supply using the knobs. Check that the board is working. Okay, so it's got to be 11 to 13 volts. Um, okay. Oh, I got to turn it that way. Alright, so 1.8 to 2.5 amps. Alright, we'll just go with 2, I guess. And then you want me to have it between 11 and... Um, no. Oh, stupid. You want to be down here. Nope, that's up and down. Uh, can we... Many, many minutes later. Ah, okay. You have to click on the knob before you can turn it. It was actually just turning the other one. Good. Disconnect the cable. Put the cover in place and screw in the screws. Alright, disconnected. Put the cover in place. Use the screws. So I just do that with the screwdriver? Or do I have to click on the screws? Nope, I apparently have to click on the screws manually. So we'll put the cover back, pick up a screw. Oh, okay, it's just gonna set all four of them in place for me. Exit the working mode. Pick up the reader and put it on the blue orange rack. Okay, exit the thing. Pick up the reader. Nope. Uh, I don't want to remove the cover now. I want to pick up the reader. Exit working mode. Okay, we're out of working mode. Pick up the reader and put it on the blue-orange rack. Um, why can I not pick up the reader? One eternity later. Oh my god, that's how you do that? Okay, well, let's go put it on the rack and see what happens. Well done. You've completed the course. I won't imprison you in VR. <laughs> okay, so eventually she's going to imprison us in VR. Alright, I've gained soldering skills. Eh, jury's still out on that one. Items for soldering in the store, new workplace, and new missions. Thank you. I see you're a fast learner. You have new contracts at your disposal. Perform at least two of them. Oh, Evil Link, I love it when you talk dirty. Okay, well, I think I'm going to leave this one here. So, overall thoughts on the game. Well, the first thought is I probably should have left the, like, relentlessly cheerful music on. 
Oh, actually, you know what? Even better. I think this is the kind of game that I would have a really good time playing if I, like, just threw on an audiobook in the background and I didn't have Evil Link's voice interrupting it all the time. So, yeah, this is one of those kind of zen, worky games where you can just have your own music going and kind of get lost in the details for hours. Now, is this as good as, like, a big-budget AAA game? No, it is absolutely not in that league. It's got a fair bit of jank, the controls are a little bit awkward, and the learning curve does appear like it would be quite high, especially if you didn't have any experience whatsoever with any of this stuff. However, I did have a lot of fun playing it, and, even better, I think I'm in love. And on that heartwarming note, as always, I've been Digby. I thank you guys for stopping by. I really hope you guys enjoyed checking out Service IT, and yeah, I hope to see you for the next one. Oh, yeah.